In this video, we're going to go through the process of uh, utilizing the service module to do repairs, installations, things like that with our own people uh, at the customer sites or if the customer brings uh, a product back into us to be repaired that they could carry by hand and we don't have to go out on site. So let's start with creating a called in service order. It's one of our customers here at Don's Pomeroy House. Now we currently have a lease unit out at their location but the call is not for this unit. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new service order and I see we have this unit that uh, looks like it is the one we're doing the lease on but we're not uh, giving any kind of free service on the unit they have to pay for it so we're going to go ahead and select this and say this is the unit if we did not have the unit here we could say that we want to add a unit and this would give us a chance to put a serial number for an item that they bought from another supplier, a description, uh, did they have an invoice number uh, from their original supplier, when did they buy it, and since they didn't buy it from us, we don't give them any kind of warranty. So we're going to go out and do service on this unit. There was nothing left at the location but we are going to do work and the complaint is uh, that the unit will not get cold. So we're just going to say unit not uh, working. No cold air. That's what they described on the telephone for us. So we got a feeling that it's either a coil is bad or a compressor is bad. So when we're going to say finish here and we're done with it, we could put other uh, units that we were doing work with on that particular work order, but that's just this one unit. So we'll say OK. And it's going to be at this location. So we want to tell the driver to put on his truck two of the parts that we feel is the issue with his problem. So I'm going to type T-R-U-E, that's just a mnemonic, and I think we're going to say we've got a compressor and possibly a coil that is causing the problems. So if I select those two, that's going to tell the driver to put these two units on his truck and um, that way he'll have them and not have to come back to the shop for parts. So if we hit save here, customer gave us a PO number for us to come do the work. So now it's scheduling time. When can we get out there? Well, the guy says it's really important. Uh, some of this product is a spoil if we don't get out there. So we'll get out there today on the 29th. We're not going to ask for any prepayment. We can print this out, give it to the driver, and that way he knows what the location is and also what units to put on his truck with these serial numbers so that um, <clears throat> he'll be able to go ahead and, uh, excuse me, these are not the serial numbers, these are the part numbers. So he knows he's going to have to go out and do, put these on his truck and take to the job site. So at the end of the day, when he gets back, he's going to go ahead and fill out the sheet that we gave him with what work he did. So we're going to go to pending service orders. We're going to bring this one up here and we're going to say edit. So we found that there was nothing wrong with the coil. So we highlight the coil 
and hit the delete key. So this is the item that they had to replace. So we were very lucky in uh, guessing what was wrong. But we also have the labor. So if we go in and uh, put in what our labor was for that guy, if I just put SOS, that's a serviceman on site with a truck. So he ended up spending, uh, let me change that quantity. He ended up spending three and a half hours there. Okay. We also had time on the truck. And so the truck's travel time, uh, we would say uh, travel both ways. We can type whatever we want in there and say, okay. And how many hours did it take him? It took him round trip two hours, hour there, hour back. So now we're getting paid for the usage of the truck besides his time. Now his time is on site. In this one, it's the cost of the truck and him driving into the truck to get to the location. Okay, so this information is now ready to um, take to the next step. If we look at service here, we can go ahead and put our service notes in, anything that we want to put uh, into this particular item. If we have any additional documents that we took with us, uh, let's say we had a, uh, uh, a manual, uh, a care manual or maintenance manual that we left with him, we can also uh, take that and give him that document. So the idea is giving us the ability to recap everything that was done at that particular site. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm going to say that the work is complete. And so now that that is completed, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to invoice this. So I'm going to say I want to do a convert to an invoice. And here's the salesperson, or I can have the person that actually did the work. And now it's going to say, all right, here's what we're billing them for, the condensing compressor, the serviceman on site, and everything that was done. And we say tender. It's asking us what was the serial number that we used, and we find that we use that serial number. And so what we're going to say is fill all back orders. And now we're going to say we want to put it on his account. We're going to have to adjust the credit limit. And we'll just leave the credit limit at zero and just allow the charge. And say OK. So now we've got the invoice out to the customer. Now on his timesheet, we're going to go to our management under our time cards. And we're going to say that Jim Becker, when he was on site, we're going to add, and this is, excuse me, we're going to add, but we're going to do a service time card. Not just a time card for him being in the office doing work, but service time card. So we'll say add that. The date will be today's date. The time that he left was at, uh, um, let's say, 9 o'clock in the morning. And he got back again, back to the shop at, uh, let's say, it's 3 o'clock. 
at 3.30 in the p.m. And the service order he worked on was 2016. That way we can tie his time card directly to that service call that he made. So now we've got his time in our time card system. We have under our transactions invoice history, you'll see work that was done on the reach in that we were leasing to this company. And here's a compressor we had to uh, replace and the serial number on that. And then the serviceman on site with his truck and also the travel time getting to and back to the office. And that's how the service module works. Thank you.